clearly they start literally on top of you. Yay! So they are, as you go around that corner, you can get shot. As you go into that stair, into that corridor, you can get shot. As you go through that door into the corridor, you can get shot. I mean, you know where I'm going with this one. As you go around that corner onto the alleyway, you can get shot. And as you go around the sports hill, you can get shot. They're literally on top of you. Does this end with us not getting shot at some point? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you're back in the same zone after. Right, okay, that's like, oh, right, that's <laughs> I'm going to go that way. I'm going inside. I'm going that way. 20 guys that way, you don't need me. Green! 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 Hey, what's up guys? I'm sorry for my current absence, however, I've been very, very busy. However, I have found a way to efficiently do as many videos as I possibly can in a lot less time. So hopefully now I should have 6 or 7 videos all rolling out within the next couple of weeks. Or oh, 7 weeks, more to the point. I've also got a very special video coming out by the end of this week. Stay tuned for that as well. So this and next week will be the goal footage, and next week I'm using a bazooka. After that I will be doing the beginning, the end, and basically the conclusion of Tazball's special event. So stay tuned by the end of the month to see the rest of that. Now let's get to the video. This game mode is basically capturing a bunch of boxes and getting it to a location and holding it to win the game. As you can see, it is absolutely pitch black and I'm relying on other players to give me light. To give you guys some references, I'm standing right in front of a door. To the left of the door, when it's opened, like that light is showing now, the enemy is on the staircase. <laughs> and a good fashion, so that's a cool palace. We've got some music to keep us going. I had no sling for my rifle, so I gave it to a friend of mine to carry. was wearing a lot of heavy gear, however I did somewhat question how many rounds I had to put into him before he finally called it, but he did. Green! Who's in that room? Oh sorry! Now it just wouldn't be me if I didn't try and accidentally kill a team member.
Without me realising, there weren't actually any greens down that corridor, and the enemy pushed in. <coughs> Meanwhile, this is Tony. He invited me to come down to the goal very kindly, alongside the crew that he usually runs with. Let's see how he's doing. Ah, hit. Hit. Good job, Tony. I'm fucking watching that door as well. I think we covered, so That's the door. Also, about three quarters of the way down, there's a gap in the right hand side, there's a bloke hiding in the door there. Nice. Well, can we use that door to get around him? So I went back to respawn and I decided a more outdoor approach would be nice, mainly because I can't see anything in the prison when I'm inside. So I decided to go around to the edges of the map where I think I could flank the enemy. rubber in this. Yeah. Yeah. Reckon it's gone already. Yeah, maybe. I'm just not getting the range out. I used to get out of it. Where are we looking? Where are we looking? Window straight ahead. Right. So from where I was standing, Tony is to the right of me and just a little bit forward. This is kind of where our battle line is in an L shape. Where you saw me before pushing up that little grassland area is also where our battle line is. Which is also where the end of this little field part is where Tony was just aiming. Good call buddy. Guys! Get some help. They're pinning me quite hard. We're about straight ahead. Straight down there. They're not coming through the door. Watch it. Just let us come in. Hearing Tony's call for help, we decided to push in. Although he pushed very quickly at this point. Uh, Tony's gun. Uh, and I want it. If you want to go. If you ever saw my video on Urban Assault, I'm still kind of working on the try not to hesitate and act very quickly right, sort of thing. Yeah, I probably could have got a few shots in there. Yep. Go, go, go. Around this corner, one guy. He moved. Check your left, keep an eye on your left. Opening on your left, keep an eye on it. <laughs> right. right. Oh. Have you got a sling for your rifle? I haven't even got something for mine. 
Yeah, hey, screw him. What's up? Fucking go shot out. You know. Fuck. Mate. You know, in two years, it's never happened to me as well. Third time I've used it. It cost me 150 quid last month. You can replace that bit itself though. Yeah, like. oh, Ow. Mate. Sympathies and respect and F. <laughs> Big capital F. And I don't remember exactly what was the objective. Now due to the lack of uh, rails, I couldn't really attach a face cam to this, so it is only my head and scope cam. However, as you can see in this footage, I will be using a bazooka for the next episode. And like I said earlier, I will then be finishing the Tazball Grand Games, followed by a few more videos by them which involve the pistol rounds and also the free-for-all, where I act as cavalry. I, I, I failed miserably by the way. Anyway guys, this is the goal. Apologies again also for my absence as well, but I, like I say, I should have a lot of videos lined up now for the next couple of weeks. I really hope I can hold my word to that. And uh, in any event, I hope you guys are enjoying my content. Leave some love and a sub, and tune in the end of the week for a new special video for my new rifle. It's a bit of an unboxing video, and I'm going to be releasing it as soon as it's made, which is after I finish making and editing this video. Anyway guys, see you all next time.